What is going on everyone and welcome back to more Black Desert. So today we are going to be doing rift bosses. I might have a few scrolls to run but for the most part we're going to be playing on our Dark Knight again um, and getting some stuff done. One thing I did actually want to check though was Black Stars for the new class to Hasashin. I'm actually curious. Are those sitting on the market or are they sold out? The fact that 63 have been sold is pretty impressive of itself. The fact that people are just making them tet to sell it is also pretty impressive of itself. But yeah, um, so what are we doing today? I think we... What's this? Oh yeah, this is the thing you get for watching like Twitch streamers for like 10 hours. Um, also, my channel is also included in this. So, for all of you who don't know or don't watch Twitch much, um, basically if you watch a streamer, um, then there's a, like a way you can earn drops in game. So, basically you watch for like one hour, three, five, and ten. And then you claim the rewards on Twitch, and then you link your, or well, you link the thing before you, all of this, and you link your BDO account to your Twitch or Twitch to BDO account, and then just watch streamers, myself included. I think any streamer nowadays before it was just partners. So yeah, um, it's pretty cool. Let me. Oh, I got mine for today. Let's see, what do we have? Muskin, Ronin, Red Nose. Muskin, Ronin, or Muskin, Red Nose, and Ronin. Okay. So yeah, um, haven't really been doing much in the past like three days. I've actually been pretty busy and haven't been on, well I have been on ESO, or not ESO. I've been on ESO but haven't been on BDO much. So yeah. Though I did try to get back to you if you guys sent me messages and stuff so don't worry about that. As long as my game didn't crash I think we were good. But yeah, one thing I did want to actually talk about for the past, uh, or the next few minutes is if you haven't already, uh, join my Discord. We're going, I'm trying to like push for the Discord partner thingy, and that requires like a certain number of people in the server. Um, so that's like something I was just going for. Plus, uh, there's benefits for you as well, so like if you join... Um, you can actually just ask me questions. There's the, probably the best place that I would you could reach out. And if you had any questions, just post it. We have like a BDO uh, channel as well, so you guys can ask for advice, talk to each other, and um, I'll try to do my best to answer questions that are there as well. So it's like kind of like a community uh, that I try to wa want to expand on. Plus, we're going for Discord partner. And we just need a lot more people to show up. So there's a link in the description if you're interested in joining. And um, it's also on screen as well. So if you have any questions or anything, uh, I'll do my best to try to answer them as well. You could also message me if you have any, like, some things that people have done in the past. Like, you have questions about your gear or build advice on, like, if you, I don't know, new players be advanced players and all this stuff so yeah just join the discord come hang out and it'll be fun cronstones fun game dog all right dude i have so many pets that they just gave us randomly from all these events i don't like i'm actually curious how to uh Dang it. I want... I want a cat. And if I wanted to exchange... Two dogs for... A tier three... I 
I don't know, all this stuff is like new name for your pet. Cat. <laughs> I wait, I hope that's a cat actually. Whatever. Processing and farming XP. Dang it, dude. Um, I don't even know. Like, these are the pets I've had over time, and I just never really. Once you get tier four pets, it's like, unless you really care about min maxing the XP bonuses that you get from it, it's like kind of irrelevant. You just you want pets. That is pretty high priority. But like, it doesn't really matter. The ones I would get are like the hedgehog when those go on sale. Those are pretty important. And one that might have hostility detection, even though it's like that's not as important. But if you are a life skiller, I think the only one that you really want is um, gathering item quantity. So hedgehog. Polar bears are pretty nice because they increase your weight limit. Um, but other than that, it's like pretty irrelevant which pets you get. It's pick some and then whichever one you think is nice but if you don't care about uh, life skilling at all just pick any of them I guess though I guess I would still go polar bears in that case because if you if your goal is grinding then you want as much weight to hold the uh, trash loot alright boys watch this getting hit. I thought I was going to slam somewhere. Did we get more constants? I'm going to be honest, that is worse than constants. Imagine making a Tet one of these and then realizing they're worth 1 billion silver and wasting an 80 stack for that. All right, boys, let's go to Ronin. One thing I thought about was uh, trying to grind for more infinite potion pieces, but at the same time, it's like, or I can just not. <laughs> I do want the HP potion, but man, just grinding at the places that drop it are so awful. But yeah, we have Odalita coming out on October 7th, and that's the official day for NA and EU. I know Korea has had it for like a year now, which... Remember that time when we watched a Korean like dev stream, and they're like, Oh, we want a global launch, so all the servers, Korea, NA, EU, C server, and the other ones, the Russian ones, they're just like... Yeah, we want everyone to have the content at the same time, and then uh, they say that, but then Korea gets content a year ahead of literally everyone else, so. It's one of those things where I just wonder. Uh, 
Uh, did I still have... Oh no, we actually ran Relic Scrolls. Uh, <laughs> I don't even remember the last time we ran them, but apparently we didn't fish much since then. But yeah, next thing I'm saving up for is a another Tet Distortion. And that's kind of a scary upgrade for me, or at least the second one is. The reason why is because I would be going down 8 DP for the second one. So, like, this is how it's going to work. I'm replacing this Kapen Kaposha, right? So, I'd be losing 4 DP and then another 4 from the Distortioneering. So, I'd be going down to 351, which is actually, like, moving down a bracket. It's kind of scary. So, maybe two brackets, actually. But, yeah, I'd be gaining 5 AP and losing 8 DP, so basically my gear score is going down, but ultimately people who, like, I don't, I never really understood this, people like flexing their gear score, so you want, when you watch streams, um, it's just like, oh, I'm a 700 gear score shy, and then when you actually look at their gears, like, 450 of it is... DP and he's like, yeah, it's actually easy to do compared to AP. But you know, it's not it's not really that. Like I get it. People want to flex their gear. That's all cool, but I never really understood the whole like gear score concept. It's like you either you're either more geared than someone or you're not. But it's one of those things I kinda of, like AP I would value it higher than DP, but I also think DP is important. Just, I don't know. I'm just going on a rant now. But it's okay. It is actually pretty hard to kill like 470 DP witches. I like. I don't know about you guys, but when you fight them in like a 1v1, you could do as much damage as you want, but then they just teleport away full heal with uh, their healing and then PA, and it's like, oh, I just comboed them and did no damage. Fun game. We'll never understand why they added like that big of a heal to witches and wizards. And then people wonder why that or Pearl Abyss wonders why that everyone is having so much fun with Tier 1 Node Wars. Where am I going? One day I'll grind for the uh, health potion. Is happening, Ronin just got stuck in a tree. I think that thing just ate my uh, spirit legacy.
All right, I'm gonna need you to not stand there on the hill. It's actually like, I don't even know if half of my hits are going off. All right, game. We are going to pray to earn Jesus that we get something not terrible, like uh, no cron stones. What else don't we want? We don't want a Serap necklace. We don't want a Forest or Naros ring. I would rather have cron stones over those, but preferably if we can get something worth more than 20 mil, I'll be happy. So we're gonna open this at 22 and hope for the best. Oh, we did it, winner. See, it's so easy. It only takes like one in 30 to get one. Oh, Jesus, what the heck? Oh, that was a spike, I guess, when, uh, I don't even know what happened. Free money. All right, uh, do we have anything else? We have 10 boxes, let's open those. While we're here. I actually thought I got a tongue grad for a second. Nope, turns out it was just like, Blackstone or something. All right, um, do we have anything we want to do at Grana? Not really. Oh, yeah, actually we do. We are going to go do our Uragon scroll. I think we're probably gonna pass Grana on the way. So if I get, if this Fugar is down there, or an Ellie, lady that sells Oasis uh, Traveler's Maps, I think I need a few of those. Oh snap, the latent sold. I hope that's the late in anyway. Hey! 91 mil. Alright, where's Ellie? I don't know where she is, but I need the Oasis lady. Another thing we haven't done today. Resets in two hours. Let me see. Was there anything good today? Sixty mil from Margoria. Akavina is 418. That's pretty good. Oh, snap. That's a money run, boys. So, in case you are wondering what. When people, like, use the term, like, money run for bartering. This is what they mean. So if you look here, you see some tier five materials. Each of them is worth 10 mil, right? And then you can exchange it three times. So that would be 30 mil, 60 mil, 90, 120, 150 mil. So you just go to Margoria. Generally it takes you like less than an hour and it's 150 mil. 
So that's something we have to do later. Those are kind of rare, actually. Well, not rare, but I get them like one in every, I don't know, 40 barters, something like that. this thing going? Like, I don't understand half the movement patterns in this game. Designed this boss. But yeah, for the most part, you just ignore the ads and then you focus on the gone. I wish it didn't fall in the worst spot ever, though. It, like, that would be really nice if it didn't just run randomly. But I wouldn't get knocked down fighting on the hill. Oh. Oh, knowledge. Knowledge. Worth. Can we get an Uragon shoes today? Nope. Unlucky. I don't even know what we got. Like, what, what the heck? All right. Um. That said, I am going to head back to Grana, and then we'll let me go deposit some stuff in the bank, and then we're probably going to do our barters. Today is a pretty solid day. Yeah, with that said, I think we're pretty much done for this video. So thanks so much for watching. Again, if you are sticking around, um, 
Be sure to join the Discord, actually. So I talked about this a little bit earlier that we're trying to look for um, more people to join the server so we can push for our partner program thingy on Discord. That would be cool. So that means it'd be pretty nice just to like say I'm verified. But yeah. Um, so links in the description if you're interested, along with my other social media like Twitter, um, Twitch channel if you want to watch me stream, of course, Discord, everything else. So if you want to keep in touch, links in the description or the comments on YouTube, that works too. So yeah, I'll see you guys later.